So now I am going to ask you a few more questions on the same pattern which is the number name pattern. Okay. So here comes our next question. So my question is number name for the number 967. Okay. And the options are 960. The next option is 970. The third option is 916. And my next option is 967. Okay. So we will try solve them one by one. The first is 960. How will you write that? We will write it as 960. So is it matching with our question? No. We will move to the next option which is 970. And how will you write that? We will write as 970. And this option is also not matching with the question that is being asked. Okay, so the third one says 916. So when it is 16, how will you write? You will write as 916. And this option also does not match with the question being asked. Coming to the next option, 967. How will you write it? 967. So is it matching with the question that is being asked here? Yes. So now my correct answer will be option D which is 967. It's getting more interesting, right? So shall we move with some more questions? I have a couple of more questions in the same pattern which will make us thorough with the number names. Clear children? So shall we move to the next one? Here we are. The next question says, write the number name for two zero six. Okay, and my options are two hundred. My second option says 260. My third option says 206. And my last option says all of these. So as I told you earlier, is it possible that one particular number has got so many number names? No, that is not possible. So the option D is ruled out. Coming to the first option, it says 200. How will you write 200? It's 200. Zero, zero. So is it matching with the question? No. Second one says 260. How will you write it? Two. Six, zero, which is again not tallying with the question. The third option says 206. How will you write it? 206. So is my option C matching with the question that is being asked? Yes. So my right answer is option C. Okay. Shall we move on to the next question? Here is your question. How will you write the number name for 
eight seven four is dash okay you need to fill in the blanks and my options are eight hundred seventy four my second option is eight hundred seventy my third option is eight hundred forty seven and my last option is none of these okay so now we have to solve 874 and find out the number name for this question okay the first one says 874 how can you write it you will write it as 874 Wow! So, you have got the first option itself correct and it is matching with my question that is being asked. So, my answer will be option A. Clear children? Okay. So, now here comes the last question for the same pattern. Okay. And your question is the number name for 303 is dash okay you need to fill in the blanks and your options are 300 option b is 130 Your third option is 303 and my fourth option is 313. Okay. My first one says 300. How will you write 300? It's 300. Zero, zero. So, this option does not match with my question. Coming to option B, it's 330. How will I write it? 330. Three, Again, the question asked and the answer which I got does not tally. Third option says 303. How will I write? 303. Three. Wow, I got my answer correct. So, option C is my right answer. Okay, children?